Well, it was March the 3rd, 2006. I was working Derek's on an oil rig. We were pulling off bottom and the stripper over gave out, caused gas to come through the hole at a high rate of speed. I literally watched my skin melt before my eyes. I'm a dead man. <laughs> I mean, that's what they call, when I went into Shreveport, Louisiana hospital, I was a dead man. Shouldn't be here. When your family's in need and you're in Mississippi, you're from Mississippi, they run to you. I got burned on Friday night. Saturday night, Chris came to the hospital as my first cousin. He was there as my family first. And my wife said, you know, Chris, what do we do? Well, he took her hand. He said, it, it, it's going to be okay. Chris took that case upon us asking him for help. There's a TV commercial out there that throws a $25 million number, affiliates that with my cousin as a personal, as a trial lawyer. Well, I'm the only one he's ever went to court for. The judge said, no one can affiliate numbers with this family for the safety of his daughter. And in an instant, Thad Cocker and Haley Barber stripped that cover of safety off my family. People are affiliating that fictitious amount with my family. It's, it's beyond imagination at the pressure that that puts on a father and a husband that has fought so dearly to protect his family. And after my injury, people wanted to know the story. They wanted to know the truth. My wife decided that we would start writing it down. My wife kept a journal the day I went in the hospital. They want to know the truth about what Chris McDaniel did, what he really did. They want to know the pain he saw. They want to know the suffering that he fought through. It's right here. This is our story. This is our hell. We've lived it. We still live it every day. And it's not okay for somebody else to take it and use it for their own personal gain. This is my baby's story. It's not that Cochran story. It's not the Daily Beast story. It's not Haley Barber's story. It's not theirs. It's mine. And we've chosen to use this story to build up, not use it to tear down. 